A robot was inspired by the RoboCup F180 Small Size League. This league is one of the oldest in RoboCup's 20 year history and annually sees dozens of robot soccer teams compete from around the globe. The objective of RoboCup is to stimulate research and development into robotics such that by the year 2050 autonomous robots can win against the best human players. Group 22 was assigned the task of designing and implementing a robot based on modified specifications of the F180 League rules. The robot was required to kick two goals per minute while avoiding obstacles that represented other players on the field. Four major subsystems were integrated to meet these specifications of the task. A local vision system, an AI navigation system, a kicker and dribbler system, and a drive system. In doing so, the group would show teamwork and develop skills in engineering design. When designing the robot's drive system, all components were carefully selected, from the motors themselves to the custom-made driver PCBs, to the physical chassis design. It was essential that the combination of these components not only allowed the robot to reach the maximum specified speed, but have the ability to be accurately controlled. The tri omni wheel configuration when paired with these parts allowed for translated velocities and heading values into physical smooth and accurate motor movement in any given situation. A chassis adequate for mounting was implemented. The initial chassis design simply incorporates a dual level design with a basic motor mounting system. Our second design uses an interlocking motor mount that is made from plywood with easy modification and adaptation. Our third iteration integrates the dribbler design with the drive assembly, allowing for the testing and refinement of integration. Our final solution, or fourth iteration, features the integration of each system's componentry, incorporating various mounting and design refinements learned through relentless testing. I'm Joseph and I designed the kicker and dribbler system of our robot. The dribbler allowed the robot to reliably control the ball, while the kicker allowed the robot to shoot goals at range. Achieving the specification of kicking two goals per minute required the kicker to be able to kick quickly and accurately over a distance of at least one meter. Research into kicker designs showed that a spring kicker would be capable of achieving these goals and, through many stages of prototyping and testing, a suitable kicker was designed. It featured a parallax servo motor with a gear train of 2 to 1 and a striker that gained power through the use of springs. A foot extended down through the chassis to hit the ball. The dribbler was required to contain the ball while the robot was moving around the field. A rotating bar design was used to accomplish this as research showed that it had the greatest reach and control of the dribbler design. I'm Emily and I was responsible for designing the vision system for our robot. The vision system is the primary source of sensory input to the robot and was responsible for providing the AI system with all information pertaining to the objects within the field. The vision system was designed by combining two methods, a colour thresholder and a machine learning based approach. This allowed us to identify parts of the image containing the appropriate colours and use a machine learning object classifier to determine if these regions contained an object. Our colour thresholder was created by finding the range of colour values unique to each object. We did this in the HSV colour space to eliminate the effects of lighting changes. We then used a machine learning classifier called a support vector machine or an SVM to effectively accept or reject the occurrence of an object in the region found by the colour thresholder. One of the biggest advantages of our system is that the use of an SVM allowed us to identify the best match for an object, which is especially useful when there can only be one instance of objects, such as the ball and each of the goals. I'm Nathan and I created the AI and navigation systems of our robot. These systems interpreted vision data and controlled the behaviour of our robot. The AI and navigation were implemented as two individual modules. The single agent planning system, SAPS, was the overarching AI module. SAPS contained a state machine and was able to utilise information from the vision system to update the robot's state. SAPS also intelligently controlled the rotational velocity of the holonomic drive system and was used to provide a list of targets and obstacles to the second module, the reactive navigation system. The primary purpose of this system was to ensure the robust avoidance of obstacles. Based on these lists, the reactive navigation system would use artificial potential field functions to compute the desired direction of the robot's translational motion. The integration of these subsystems formed a robotic soccer player capable of finding and capturing the ball and aiming to shoot a goal. On demo day, our robot adhered to the requirements by robustly seeking the ball, avoiding obstacles and scoring two goals.